Hello, welcome back. It's Motor Shed Monday. I need a little ditty for that, I think. I'll work on it. Yes, I'm going to persevere with this. Such was the popularity of my first Motor Shed Monday video. Hopefully, it will get more popular as time goes on. A bit like Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones did. Yes, I did just compare my shitty little motoring channel on YouTube with the two biggest TV shows ever. What of it? <laughs> In news this week then. The McLaren Senna. Looks wise, it really does divide opinion. I absolutely love it. I've always thought though, that it, it kind of looks like a Lego model. But now, it actually does. Yes, they have produced a full scale Lego model. It really does look fantastic. It's made up of nearly half a million Lego pieces and took around 3,000 hours and a team of 30 people to produce. It weighs a hefty 1,700 kilograms, so a considerable amount more than an actual McLaren Senna. You can catch it at this year's Goodwood Festival of Speed, where you should be able to sit in it. Uh, it's got an actual Lego seat and it's got a uh, actual McLaren seat and McLaren steering wheel because, of course, Lego don't make those. Moving on to something greener, we have the Tesla Model 3. You're probably sick of hearing about the Model 3 because it has been available in the States for about 18 months now, but it is yet to hit UK shores. Well, it was the best-selling EV of 2018. According to new figures from uh, data specialists, Jato Dynamics, that's 138,000 units sold last year. Wow! The big news off the back of this data though, and something that really puts things into perspective, is the amount of sales in Europe. Bear in mind it has only just hit the market in Europe and available to order, and it has outsold the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4, Mercedes C-Class, the three big German heavyweight saloons, it's outsold them all. That's big. I should point out, however, that the Model 3 has only just gone on sale, so the figures are probably skewed slightly because there will have been a large number of people waiting, waiting for the Model 3 to become available. Now it is available for order. All of those people have you know, jumped on the order books uh, and got their orders in. So it'll be really interesting to see if that trend continues, if it continues to outsell the three biggest uh, German saloons on the market. Tesla plan to double output of the Model 3 this year, so expect to see one soon in your local Tesco car park. On to something a bit more, well, lame now, and it's been all over the news this week, so it's probably not news to you. Anyway, EU leaders have voted to make speed limiters and other safety equipment mandatory on all vehicles sold in the EU from 2022. This will include Britain, regardless of what happens with Brexit, if anything. These systems include mandatory data loggers, auto emergency braking, lane keep assist, driver fatigue detection, reversing sensors and cameras. So the thinking behind this is obviously safety, uh, cutting down speed, cuts down on road deaths, etc. So the speed limiter in particular should know what speed you should be doing through GPS uh, and automatically limit you uh, to that speed. So I can see all sorts of flaws with that. I mean, for example, what happens when you're at an overpass where you've got a lane underneath doing 30 miles an hour and then the motorway on top there's 70 miles an hour like for example junction 34 uh, of the m1 near meadow hall uh, is the gps going to be accurate enough to know which one of those lanes you're on no, i don't think so so last thing you want is to be doing 70 miles an hour and all of a sudden your car slams the brakes on because it thinks you should be doing 30 only for a lorry to plow into the back of it just one scenario that I've come up with in my head. So it's supposed to save lives, but many motoring experts believe it could actually do the opposite. 
There's also concern that it would take too much control away from the driver, increasing the risk of the driver losing concentration as they no longer need to maintain speed themselves. So when you give it some thought, there are actually a lot of flaws with this, but hey ho. Feel free to discuss in the comments below. I'm not gonna force my opinion onto you, uh, but uh, the comment section is there if you want to discuss, and of course, I'm happy to weigh in. Hopefully there'll be an off switch. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, bye bye.